Are we close to having stagflation? Yeah, we, we are in stagflation. We are. Stagflation is simply where, you know, you have inflation, and yet at the same time, uh, you have high unemployment. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Christian Finance for your regular financial content. Today, we're going to take a look at what Bridgewater founder and legendary investor Ray Dalio has to say about the state of the current macroeconomic situation, what happened in the near to midterm, as well as you guys will get my whole perspective on everything that's going on as well. Are we close to having stagflation? Yeah, we, we are in stagflation. We are. Stagflation is sim simply where, you know, you have inflation, and yet at the same time, uh, you have high unemployment. Yep, that's exactly what's going on in the US right now. There is stagflation, which means inflation is running extremely high. In fact, it's almost at a 40 year high right here. As we can see, the past two quarters we've been running from 8.3 and higher, right? As high as 9.1. And aside from the inflation, you also have a slowing in the growth in the economy due to a variety of factors of which I'll get to in a little bit. Yeah, you have economic weakness. Right. In other and words, you, 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 you have a stagnant economy, stagnant, yeah. essentially Me meaning means growth low is reduced, growth, right. low growth, and with high inflation. Yeah, and I mean, he just explained it himself. Obviously, we just saw the high numbers of the inflation over the past six months or so. And then once again, we have the slowing of the growth of the overall economy as well. Now, really quickly, guys, I want to ask you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification button. So this way you guys get notified every single time I upload. Make sure to enter the giveaway. There's another week or so for it. So to be entered inside of it, subscribe to the channel, comment your Instagram handle, as well as your favorite cryptocurrency. Once the deadline is over, I'll pick a winner, DM you, and send you $50 worth of Bitcoin to a wallet of your choosing. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, comment down below. It'll be around $45 USD. 45 minutes and this way I'll teach you anything you guys need in terms of investing, saving and budgeting, as vast areas of self-development as well. Once again guys just subscribe to the channel. Now I just want to quickly look at Michael Burry's tweet. This was less than a week ago and he actually wrote even the chart looks like a heart attack and that was when the Dow dropped 522 points in just a single day and it really does look just like a heart attack. Crazy. And now I do want to look at this tweet because I think it's a fair representation of what's going on. The last two inflationary periods in the United States 1940s and 50s in the 70s each had three distinct inflationary peaks 20s post flu world war ii nihilism 40s post-war spent baby boom 70s bad energy and fed policy in the 2020s which is this one we literally did have all of the above so absolutely right there michael burry hit the nail on the coffin there are a lot of issues going on right now macroeconomically starting off with inflation increase in interest rates the war in russia and ukraine is hurting the world economy really badly especially the european one if you guys haven't checked out the previous video check it out i go into depth about that topic we also have a surplus of supply in stores like walmart and target which is really just crazy to think about because you would assume that when everybody's struggling people would be shopping in those two stores but when once again walmart and target have too much supply that's when you know we're in a scary situation and yeah i mean the markets are not looking pretty at all i mean just the dow jones when we hit that last bottom it started to rise once again everyone was thinking hey we're out of the woods but we're just simply no we're in a downturn guys like i said too many macroeconomic factors drowning us down in order for us to turn this tide i need to see one of two things happen one a decrease in the inflation which really would be ideal that's the best case scenario or two would be the feds decreasing the interest rates or at least not increasing them as rapidly as they are right now but that's really not a good solution because we're just kicking the can down the line if that happens Markets will rally in the short term, but then inflation will pick up again. So that's really not a solution. Really, the only solution is inflation slowing down. And the main way that's going to happen is through aggressiveness of the Fed and the increase in interest rates, unfortunately. It's not ideal, but we need to see that max pain moment or we actually go and start trending in the positive and for good reason. That, guys, the video's over. I think I covered a fair amount. This is a time to be strategic in the downturn moments. Remember, most millionaires and billionaires are made in recessions. Remember that. Every crisis has opportunity. With that, the video's over. Let me know other similar financial content you'd like me to do next. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, stay diversified.